हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव मेडिसिन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट हेलो फ्रेंड्स लेट अस नाउ लर्न द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ थायराइड स्टॉर्म सो इफ यू सी द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ थायराइड स्टॉर्म द ट्रीटमेंट मेनली इंक्लूड्स नॉन सेलेक्टिव बीटा ब्लॉकर्स द ट्रीटमेंट इंक्लूड्स नॉन सेलेक्टिव बीटा ब्लॉकर्स दिस नॉन सेलेक्टिव बीटा ब्लॉकर्स इज मोस्ट वेरिएबल मेजर ऑफ थायराइड स्टॉर्म इट इज द मोस्ट वेरिएबल मेजर सॉरी वैल्यूएबल मेजर दिस इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट मेजर इन द थायराइड स्टॉर्म दैट इज नॉन सेलेक्टिव बीटा ब्लॉकर दैट इज प्रोपेनलॉल इज मोस्टली यूज ओके सेकेंड सेकेंड दैर इज प्रोपाइल थायो यूरासिल right in the, why is it most important propanol propanolol why is it most important this is because so in thyroid storm if you see in thyroid storm there is more adrenergic activity there will be adrenergic overactivity in thyroid storm so because of this adrenergic overactivity in the thyroid storm it will increase the tissue sensitivity to catecholamines it will increase the tissue sensitivity to catecholamines in hyperthyroidism it increases the tissue sensitivity to catecholamines in hyperthyroidism that is non selective beta blockers then next we have propyl thiouracil so if you see propyl thiouracil propyl thiouracil is an anti thyroid drug propyl thiouracil is an anti thyroid drug of choice for thyroid storm it is anti thyroid drug of choice for thyroid storm this will decrease the synthesis of hormones synthesis of t3 and t4 and it will also inhibit the peripheral conversion of t4 to t3 so this is about propyl thiouracil then corticosteroids so if you see corticosteroids corticosteroids are also called as hydrocortisone so this corticosteroid or hydrocortisone will actually inhibit the release of inhibit the release of thyroid hormone from the gland it inhibits the release of thyroid hormone from the gland and also it will inhibit the peripheral conversion of t4 to t3 then we have fourth iodides iodides like potassium iodide or ipanoic acid can also be given iodides like potassium iodide and ipanoic acid can be given this will inhibit the further hormone release this will inhibit the further hormone release from the gland then the next is diltiazem so if the diltiazem is a calcium channel blocker this can be added if tachycardia is not controlled this is added if tachycardia is not controlled if tachycardia is not controlled by propanolol this is added then sixth we can do rehydration then we have anxiolytics rehydration anxiolytics and we can do external cooling and appropriate antibiotics are given appropriate antibiotics are the measures for thyroid storm thank you for watching thank you and thank you for watching